had become a national embarrassment. Your thoughts that violence will cure this problem is completely wrong. It's only a spiritual battle that's going to solve this one. You might temporarily silence us, but I'm telling you now, the New Zealand public that are in, in favour of these protests are much, much greater in number than you. We're not going to put up with it, and if you think that you win this battle today, and we're going to stop talking, you've got another thing coming. Look at the people in front of you, sister. Do we look like we're fringe? We're not fringe. We represent every strata of New Zealand society. Wake up. What are you going to tell your children in 10 years' time? Are you going to tell them that you went in with riot gear against unarmed people? Is that what you're going to tell them? Because my conscience is clear. I can tell my children in the eye. My children can't go to a library. My children can't go to a swimming school. My children can't even go to a therapy. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. This is a clarion call to all of you, my friends. We need to rise to the occasion and we need to fight these battles ahead. Stand up, be courageous, don't give in to the nonsense, don't give in to the tyranny. I say this to all the protesters, God bless you. Jesus is our sure hope. He stands for the truth, and the truth sets us free. Oh, 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 oh.